Hey guys, so how much food are we really built to eat at one time? Or how are we wired to eat uh, throughout the day, over the course of days, weeks, months, and years? So there's this thing called optimal foraging strategy where basically us humans and animals, other animals, want to get the biggest caloric payoff or get the most amount of calories in the least and or while expending the least amount of calories divided by time so it's basically get the most amount of calories in the by expending the least amount of energy or with the least effort in the fastest time possible so basically what that means is that we are all about convenience so when food was scarce and all those sort of things we were when we didn't know where our next meal was coming from we were wired up in a fashion to get as much food as possible as quickly as possible in the easiest fashion and nowadays the, the sort of evolutionary mismatch is that we have tons of food available um, more more food than we need by far. I mean, if you just go into your fridge or cupboards, I mean, we have tons and tons of calories um, at, at our fingertips, essentially. But we're still wired up the same way to consume the most amount of calories while expending the least amount of calories in the fastest amount of time possible. So basically, kind of enter the drive-through, right? You can We can drive in our cars, be seated all we have to do is reach out the window pay and then you know press the gas a little bit reach out the window and grab a bag of food and we can be you know eating ridiculous amounts of food with very very little effort expended in a matter of minutes so the way that I want you guys to think about this is that this is the way we're wired to eat so it's not like you're lacking willpower and discipline and things like that. It's, it's literally how we've gotten to this point from an evolutionary standpoint. It's just now that there's a bit of a mismatch, we are seeing the side effects of that and that is, you know, we're sicker than ever and more obese or fatter than ever essentially. So um, A, it's not your fault. B, now what do we do about it, right? So. The, the easiest thing to do, the lowest hanging fruit, is to figure out your food environment. So basically, make it extremely easy to consume the foods that you want to consume. So keep those ones in your fridge and um, your freezer. And make it really inconvenient to consume foods, or convenience foods essentially. Make it inconvenient to eat convenience foods. So don't keep my microwave microwave dishes on hand, don't keep chips in the cupboard, candy, ice cream, all that sort of stuff because it's just a matter of when you're going to eat it, not if. And what you want to do is make that stuff difficult to access and essentially rely on our own laziness, that formula that we talked about before by getting the most calories in the easiest way possible in the, in the shortest amount of time. Rely on your own laziness when it comes to convenience foods by not having them in the house and then you actually have to go out and expend calories. So maybe walk to the store, or maybe even drive to the store to get those foods. So we wanna make those foods inconvenient to get and the stuff that we wanna eat, we wanna make it super convenient and as easy as possible for us to be able to eat those foods. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions about it, but, and if you wanna do any, any more research on uh, sort of that formula and that little aspect there, it's just called the optimal foraging strategy. And it's how, again, how we've gotten to this point as humans, it's natural selection and uh, survival of the fittest. So yeah, take that with you. And if you have any questions, post them below or just hit me up personally. Thanks guys, see ya.